Hi, you're listening to The Advantage Podcast with me, John Kenworthy. Hi there, this is Dr. John Kenworthy and welcome to this podcast on seven steps to your new goal. You already know that you really need to have a clear goal in your personal development as a leader. Without a goal, you don't know where you're going and that's exactly where you will end up, drifting somewhere. Maybe it'll be great. Maybe it'll be a waste of time. So here are seven steps to make sure that you achieve your new leadership development goal. Step number one, who is in your inner circle? The people who are closest to you can raise you up or tear you down. Take a long, hard look at those who are in your inner circle and fill it, if necessary, with people who will build you up, people who will edify you. Step two is develop SMART goals, S-M-A-R-T, in each area of your life. Know specifically what your goal is and know how you are going to measure it. Make sure that you can attain it with the help of your inner circle. And make sure that your goal is realistic. If someone else has done it, then it is. Put your stake in the ground for time. When are you going to have achieved this goal? Can you change your goal? Your time? Sure. You can move the goalposts anytime you like. It's your goal. Step three is break down your bigger, longer term goals into smaller shorter term chunks or milestones. Any goal that's worth having is going to take time to reach. Breaking it down into smaller steps makes it more manageable. I recommend that you think weak. See, we can plan pretty well a week ahead, but a month ahead, that's more tough. All sorts of things could happen in a month. So for example, establish steps that you will have completed by Friday, each week, and time to celebrate at the weekend. Step four, work with an accountability partner. Check with your inner circle regularly to review your progress. Wouldn't it be nice if you could trust yourself to have the self-discipline to do this alone? Sure. But believe me, you wouldn't actually be reading this or listening to this if you were that self-disciplined. Work with someone in your inner circle who will support you, cajole you, nag you, whatever it takes. You already know what works for you, so invite them to do so. And later, return the favour. Step five is celebrate your conquering of each of those milestones. Don't wait till the end result, constantly promising yourself that one day you will celebrate. No, choose to celebrate every milestone. My wife and I have a stupid little dance we do. In private, I might add, because, well, it's not really something you would like to see. But we have fun, and it's our shared symbol of an achievement worth celebrating. Step six, when you reach your overall goal, choose to stretch yourself to new heights. So you've developed yourself well and achieved the goal you set. Well, that just proves that you are a lot more capable than you even thought. So now let's raise your game and set new standards to achieve. Step seven, Remember, leadership develops daily, not in a day. Keep on keeping on. It won't happen tomorrow. You don't absorb new competencies or character traits by simply exposing yourself to them. No, you need to put your development into practice each and every day. Repeat what works, learn from what doesn't. Adapt, change and keep on keeping on. 
Eventually, it'll come naturally. And you may even forget that previously you weren't this good. So the seven steps. Make sure you know who's in your inner circle and fill it as need be with people who build you up, support you. Set a smart, longer term goal and break down that goal into smaller chunks, milestones, thinking weak wherever possible. Working with an accountability partner from within your inner circle, usually, who will help you and support you, keep you keeping on. Celebrate each and every milestone. And when you finally reach that goal, stretch yourself to new heights. Remembering the whole time that leadership develops daily, not in a day. Every day, keep on keeping on. See, no one ever achieved anything great, truly did it alone. Build your inner circle, set those clear, smart goals and plan each of the smaller steps necessary to achieve them. This is all part of successful personal development. I look forward to hearing about your celebrations. And a reminder to check as you go through this, which of these seven steps do you do best and which do you do worst? Where are you good and where do you need more help? Looking for people to support you where you need more help. Enjoy, have a blessed day. Remember to drop down to the comment section on the website at selsim.com. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye. You've been listening to the Advantage Podcast with me, John Cameron. To find out more, visit us at selsim.com.